a little bit uh, by Juan Felipe, Juan F. Garcia, but uh, he, does, he doesn't come. So I'm going to present this, this experience where we can find something like this. Uh, until now, uh, we are ready or we are able to, to, to say that uh, in degrees we are able to, to learn a lot of IT, you know, uh, you are able to, to think, I'm going to, to program, I'm going to make a lot of things with computers, but uh, this is normal, a hard way to, to learn something, you know, because uh, sometimes or almost every day all the friends share the experience in the university and they say, oh, I am using uh, my computer to do some slides about uh, one subject, this is subject, and in this case, uh, in IT, for instance, computer science degree, the people say, oh, I am using the computer to do my work, so I have to spend all day working with my, with my computer, so sometimes the, the IT teaching is not that easy, like it looks. So, in this case, we present how to use mouse to teach IT, how, how, how this uh, tool, how this animal can help to improve the learning experience. This is a brief outline of uh, this presentation. I'm trying to introduce uh, our experience, uh, our proposal. I want to present our experience and the conclusion of this job. So, like I said, uh, the normal way is uh, I am using the computer for the not the Spanish readers. The computer is electronic and it's very helpful, very useful for the teaching. Okay, the E with the L is L, this kind of things. Uh, sometimes we use the technologies to solve something, but we are not uh, worried about how to how to solve these technologies, how to improve the use of these technologies and in this way the user, the, the student, be able to learn more technologies. So, in this way, we found that uh, sometimes uh, IT is not the attractive point of one degree. So, we can find students in computer science degree that they don't like to program, for instance. So, something is wrong. They, they are working to this. It's like, uh, oh, I'm going to be a doctor uh, to help people, and, but I, I, I can't see the blood or I can't uh, operate or something like that. The, stu the students get fun when it's not a subject. Remember, the IT, the computers here, the programming lectures are using the, the computer. So sometimes for the student it's like, I have to program, I prefer to watch TV, I prefer other things. Again, with the computer, but it's not the job. So they are not happy using this, this machine. And the old school techniques for teaching IT. This is uh, a worried staff of teaching because sometimes the, the teachers are uh, using some techniques that are not happy for the student. So what we think, uh, we can use robotics in teaching, in lecture, but uh, looks like, it's, as you can see, for instance, Ivo, uh, your Roboto, in this case, the Lego that you can find in the table from the other lectures. And the other colleagues that are, they are going to present this afternoon. So robotics, and we think that we can deploy robotics to improve this, this teaching uh, experience. So how? Uh, today is famous, uh, the practice is called like serious games. Okay, so in this way we are going to introduce this, the robotics in the lecture class. And the last thing is the competition. This is our last experience with the uh, first level league uh, from the last year, or this year, but at the beginning. Uh, in this case, we only can see uh, children or something, or uh, youngest people, you know. So, is this kind of competition useful for everybody? <coughs> yes, of course. You only have to adapt this kind of competition to the people that are going to, to work in this. So this kind of experience, I think that everybody knows, and is so famous. 
in this interface. But what are the advantages and disadvantages of this? Uh, the, the robotics in the platforms. It's okay, of course, adapted for the students, it's a multidisciplinary uh, a field. You can use robotics for almost right now everything. And for the marketing, uh, all the students say, oh, I have robots in my class. What is your class about? Oh, because maybe it's like this, it's computer architecture, so uh, robots. But the cost is always the same, and now, in this time, the first one is the price. It's a, it's a barrier that stops to, to deploy this kind of architecture at, at classes. The second one is the learning curve. It's not always as easy like it looks. It's true that you can find software that is like press one button, move, and you have one program running. But this is not always true when you are teaching IT. Remember, it's not for children. We try to, to improve the, the teaching experience. So they are still need, they need to learn how to program, for instance. And the last one, maintenance, because it's hardware. The hardware always Always, or almost, always needs to be fixed. So this is our uh, the first thing that we we did it. Uh, we analyze different architecture, and uh, if we pay attention to sensorization, versatility, price, and how we can deploy at class, and this was our election. Okay, the level my start and the rover robot. Uh, we also have a <coughs> group uh, of robots like I create, but uh, it's not easy. The learning curve is not easy to, to, to introduce in the classroom. So uh, what are our goals? What we want? We want that the students uh, learn programming and whatever thing in IT. What the students want? They want to learn. For sure, but you have to present more fun, more in, in an easy way. So in this way, they, they are going to use all the things that you teach to the students in their jobs in the future. So how we develop this experience to introduce the robotics in the class, in the computer architecture. Uh, in Leon, in Hawaii University, this uh, subject is presented like this. Okay. Uh, six uh, credits uh, in this subject you can see the LX, uh, CPU performance and these three assignments are uh, a must to pass the subject but we did it a little fix to try to, to know if the robotics is able to, to be introduced at Classroom so we changed the last one that is oriented to make uh, some things with hardware and we present the project that we are going to show later that is the mouse against the Lego and in these two ones we change we propose an extra task everybody wants to make extra task at platform true so in this way for the first uh, task we use the robot robot uh, for the last one, for the Lego against uh, mouse, we use the LCX uh, platform. I think that in this classroom everybody knows about this platform, so <laughs> the, the only thing to, to mention, to say about this, it is, uh, is omnidirectional wheels, uh, one camera, okay, and uh, it moves like a server, so you connect it using a web browser a local web browser. So you can connect directly to this platform or you can use uh, a router and connect to this platform. Okay? This is it. So, the signal one, uh, the task is presented here to measure the, uh, to make a benchmark of the computer and we add two extra tasks. One, one of these is in a non-robot way and another one is with a robot way. Is to do the same but using or apply to the real world to be used with the robot, okay? The second one was the same. Some, the students have to work to simulate the, the ALU in the E, triple Q, triple E, Q, whatever, E, A, Q, 
744, 54, sorry. So to develop the extra task was oriented to, to make more integral operations. And in a robot way, you have to use all this uh, exercise, but again, deploy it with a Rogio robot. Okay? In this way, uh, to present to the Rogio one number in binary, in binary is translated. You make the account, you make the operations, and then with a typical tool of test to speech, the robot say the number. Okay? And the last one, and the fake news that we are going to present here is our mouse against Lego robot. In this, the robot has to arrive from one position in a maze to another position. The student has to develop a navigation system and uh, it has to be developed in, during the classroom in less than one, between three, three weeks and one month. Okay? The concepts are easy. Robot navigation, hardware management and software development. And in this way, we can be able to, to make more, more tasks oriented to how to manage the, the memory of the system, how to, how to use other libraries. So, this is uh, the first experience, the first uh, test. This is the maze. The maze were developed for uh, each group. Okay, each group can make whatever maze that they want. We make signals, of course, because we are using this platform. We have no, they can use whatever sensor they want, but infrared is the solution. And this is a map. A map. <coughs> so. Our contributions for this subject to introduce the robotics is uh, to make a competition. Why? Because if not, how we are going to measure this experience? How we can measure the, the student? Uh, oh, I like this subject. I like to program in this way. So comp competing again against the time, competing against other partners, and competing against a mouse. And this was the basic stuff. Because the, the thing is, uh, sometimes they are worried because they have to compete against their friends. So, oh, uh, I beat you or I defeat you, sorry. So, uh, one guy is like sad because oh, I don't like program. I spend like three weeks working all days and I lose. So, I'm not learning. No, this is totally false. You learn, but they, they, not perceive, they don't perceive this idea. So, Competing against a mouse is more fun. You lose against a mouse. Oh, come on. So, preliminary results, results. Only one, one T defeat the mouse. So, everybody, if everybody, if only one uh, T win to other member of the class, it's like, oh, they are the nerd. I don't want, I don't want you like a friend. I want you like a slave to program me. No, 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 no. It's not the way. Okay? So, this is our result of this experience. We can see the first task, the first assignment, benchmark, the second one, and the third one, the robot versus the mouse. Uh, here, we presented only how in the first and the second, that is an uh, extra task. They are, they are not the classical task. They, are not, they don't need to use to, to make this to pass the side. But we can find that more than the half say, okay, I'm going to do the extra, the extra task. But in this half, 18 people want to work with robotics. So it's nice. In the second one, it's better. Because the other people say, I don't like the non robotic extra task. I prefer to work a lot. And some of the students say, I can't. Uh, continue with the subject, so we lose five students and also we lose <coughs> eight students in this status. Okay, and the last one. Okay, the last one is, is a must to pass this subject, but look, this is the third month of the studies. So, in the last month, nobody goes out of class. But again, we have the 53 students, so Something happens using robotics. The people come get to the class. So the thing is that everybody is waiting 
hiking forest. Yes, uh, this is the task. I don't know the levels of the roots in the infrared. Huh? This is enough. But we have to modify the Java, we have to use extra libraries, we have to know how the architecture works. Okay? They are working this. So, who loses? A mouse, no my colleague. A mouse. So nothing happens. Everybody is happy. Everybody works three weeks very hard. One thing that I, I didn't say is uh, only five teams arrive to this part. But in this way, uh, all the students want to continue helping to the other guys, to the other colleagues, to try to, to win, to defeat the, the mouse. So the results, the, the conclusions to sum up all the things presented here. Okay. So uh, we don't know how, but at the end, the newspaper come and ask about what is happening because. Uh, some people put the, the videos in YouTube, uh, some people share with other partners. Or they are working with mouse. Oh, come on, you are an IT student. Uh, you need to stay in a room using your computer. Only this. No. It's impossible. This is totally false. So, this is one of, of our contributions using robotics in the platform in a subjective. Uh, Conclusions, competitions are fun. In, in this way, like the first level league, uh, are fun. But in this way, they are not uh, with 12 years old. They have uh, around 20, 22 years old. The motivation to, to come again to the subject, to pass the subject, and interaction with animals increase the motivation. They want to come, they want to make a good program. They want to program, really. And the objective is students want to do extra tasks, remember the two principal assignments, the, the two for the beginning, and the number of students increase. So this is all.